all right guys welcome back today is monday and this video it's going to take a couple days i'm going to explain why over the weekend i got a message from a buddy i told him i said well we're just hanging out at the shop just give me a call so pernell calls me and uh talks about a couple of things and i said yeah we'll go for it so a few minutes later, Bill from the old man's garage calls me. We talk about a few things. Okay. Wilkesboro Dragway is having a private rental Tuesday. So we also have the Chevelle that we're wanting to test up there along with a few other people and Bill. So... Me and Bill talked about some possible things after the drag strip was done, which involves possibly going down the road somewhere. So little does my wife know she's going to be a part of this. She's sitting in the office right now. I'm going to get a reaction from her, drop a little hint, and then Tuesday I'm going to let her know what's going on. So, hopefully, between now and then, she doesn't find out. But she's probably going to kill me when she does find out. So, let's see how this goes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Just come in here to talk to you for a minute. Why? Yeah. Well, it was something to do. You got something. Me? Yes, you. What, what, your voice is sounding better. Seems like you. Slowly getting there. <laughs> that head cold heads you down pretty good. It doesn't seem like it's coming back <coughs> quick yeah, enough. Yeah. Well, you know. We went to Wilkesboro the other week, and they had the Chili Fest, and it seemed like it was good motivation for everybody. Everybody got a little excited about racing season coming up, and you said, well, maybe the next couple of weeks, when the weather clears up, which, I mean, we've not really had no snow or anything, but you said something about getting a trailblazer out. Normally, we don't, but was, like I said, we've not really had no salt or anything on the road, so I thought, let's get it out this evening. Oh. You said you wanted to ride it around. Okay. And we might see how it does, sort of say. Well, we might do a little testing. Testing in January for. We never test in January. <laughs> well, I can't really tell you. I just I want to. to something. I just want to test. You ain't telling me. Well, I mean, you know, we've made a couple small changes to it, so it would be nice to see if. Changes work. But we never test the changes in the wintertime. Well, I mean, I thought. Never. I just thought if you wanted to get it out, why would we got it out? You're up to something. I'm not up to nothing. Yep, you might confess it up. Why? Because you're up to something. I'm not up to nothing. I don't know what you're doing, but this is weird. <laughs> I just figured, like I said, just get out and drive it around, go eat some supper or something, and just go maybe test a little bit, see how it does. You want to spill it? Why? Cause we never test in the winter time. We never drive it just to supper in the winter time. Well, I don't, I don't want to spoil nothing. Well, you want to spill it? Or what? Huh? Or what? I'm about to see what we're going to test about first. I mean, just test to be test. Well, you don't get it out and drive it in the wintertime for nothing. Well, if I give you a little hint, 
Well, yeah, he's going to piss up or we're going to leave it at home. So, if I don't tell you, you're not going to, you don't want to just forget about no, it. No, there ain't no point getting it up right now. Uh, so, you're putting it in, in between a rock and a hard place. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I wasn't going to tell you. But, uh, you know, got a couple phone calls, a couple messages, and, you know, they're having a private track rental at Wilkesboro Tuesday. So, somebody from Ohio is coming down here. And what? What did you <laughs> all right bill from the old man's garage is coming and sam and his dad pete from young and Bussy are coming down so i talked to bill saturday night and we've agreed to possibly do something after the track and you've probably so you yeah you're you're gonna be in the middle of it, so you've probably figured out what we're gonna do. I'm sure. I'm quite sure. I think if you want me to test something. So are you up for it? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what we'll do. Like I said, we'll, we'll go test this evening. We'll see how it does. And most likely, whether it does good or bad, we're going to do this anyway. Just because. Well, it's just an old test hit then. So you up for it? I don't even test hits much. Well. With the changes. Well, we're, we're going to find out this evening then. And like I said, I kind of went ahead and spoiled it there. I'm just, whatever. They're coming to the shop tomorrow after the track. And we're going to go from there. You up for it? Yeah, sure. Sorry, guys. I had to tell her how I many. Yeah. I didn't want to tell her, but I had to tell her. I don't. I don't know. I knew you were up to something. Cause you're acting all weird. Well, we're gonna we're gonna go from here and see what happens. Then you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Still got it. I mean, you still know how to come off the line. You eggshelled it a little bit, and then by you know a couple passes, third pass was really good. Not good on that third pass. Second pass is a deal too much. Yeah. I'm trying to roll the tires. So. First pass. You about had it first pass. To be honest with you, but yeah, it was the second pass where you left a little, a little bit different. But third, awesome. So felt good. So just once again, so you're up for tomorrow night then. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it does. Okay. All right, guys. So we'll see how this goes.
after testing and back to the shop talking about a few things and deciding where to go for supper well after supper you can imagine what took place see what numbers you can put down on the motor and spray a little nitrous on it too and hopefully Bill can see the numbers he wants to see. How come you gotta take it up that high? It's easier to put the straps on it instead oh. of crawling underneath. And... I got the... <laughs> That's what he said. Robert's a good guy. This guy, all he does is talk shit. All he does is talk shit. He should be good. Strap. He should be good. I'll hold my button up here and that way you know. <laughs> we tried but Robbie did say if it feels up for it he get redemption okay <laughs> um so I'll say thank you to Bill for coming and hanging out with us uh, it's always good to talk to him he's he's, he's a hoot that's for sure um, it was good meeting Sam and Pete for the first time uh, so great time hanging out with them look forward to doing more with them and we're tired it's late everybody's done run off and went home so we're closing down the shop I don't know it's 11 o'clock or later but either way anything you want to no, good time yes, yeah. guys like share subscribe we'll see you on the next one